my camera. It's so hot right now. So we have another Pokemon binder. It's like, I mean, the binder itself is Pokemon. But I don't know what these are. Oh, I found some of these attached. What are these from? I actually found these in a random box. Charmander, Char... I bet you that Charizard's like more than a dollar. <laughs> I think it's like on the backs, it's like from Mewtwo Strikes Back something. I don't know what these are from. But I found some still attached. Apparently I was trying to put them all together. That's pretty cool. This is terrible. I'm going to go through it better later. Just don't worry. We're going to do a better video. This is like initial shock value finding my babies. This binder labeled Fossil and Neodex. So this, I, I feel like I kind of remember this. Now this is what I'm saying. Oh my gosh, there's like 25 shelter cards packed into this. <laughs> that you can't see it up here. It's uh, up here at the top. This thing is thick. Oh my gosh. Could you, who knew you could even fit? Look how many Ammonite cards are in here. What the? There's like 25. Look at it. Oh, um, there's one Dragonite, of course. <laughs> That's the non-hollow. There might not be any of the hollows in here, I, I feel like. So I feel like I never really put the hollows in the, uh, except for my base set binder. And I looked on the front cover. It's pretty cool. Yeah, no hollows in there. There, okay. I, I actually have, I could corner the market on gambler cards. Oh my gosh, there's, I didn't even see there's a second pack of them. Look how many gambler cards. I'm just gonna flood the gambler cards on eBay. Just ruin the tank the market, so if you're ready to look for them. Uh, so I, this is labeled Neo. Is this Neo? I don't know anything about it. That Heracross card's awesome. I don't think I've ever seen that artwork. That's cool artwork. And what's that one? I don't know. That's like newer Pokemon. Oh no, camera's on low battery. But yeah, these are Japanese Neo. Also a bunch in there. I have two of those. Heracross on the back. That's another hollow one. There's a fur alligator up the top. Hollow. Like a lot of focus. Oh no, now I'm like super panicking. Oh, I see a Lugia. Hollow. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. Hollow Lugia. Should probably take that out. Sleeved up. It's sleeved up in the sleeves. The penny sleeve and the pages. Is that like a theme deck or something? I guess. That's like a Neo something. It's like out of a theme deck. Okay, battery switch, fresh memory card, fresh battery, even though it's one of the old batteries that's been running out. Put the Lugia in a unfocused case. Well, I just recently bought a whole bunch of these card savers. And. It looks pretty solid. I think there's like some silvering on the side. I don't know if that's a... That's not like a dent or something right there. I don't know what's coming through. It's kind of hard to tell. Something right there. I don't know. I don't know that. It looks extremely good condition. Which is pretty cool. But I think I think the English of this card is like very extensive, right? Especially the first edition or whatever. But yeah, I went through and put in some of our card, the ones we pulled out. Resleeve them. Put them in those. Protection, even though they've been fine. Well, basically fine past 20 years in binders. Uh, what else we got? We got another binder. I should have several of these. Whoa, those almost fell out for some reason. Okay, that's weird. Oh, why, anyone remember these binders? These binders are pretty cool. I wish these were D-ring binders. They are not. There they are. Okay, that's what I went. Whoa, because for some reason, I... Like, what are those things? Those twist tie things? <laughs> a whole bunch of first edition Rocket, which I don't remember why I have. Those are like, appearing to be, yeah, these are all first edition Team Rocket. But these are like, I don't see any hollows or anything. Those I would have, I guess, sleeved up somewhere. That's interesting. That's cool. Then. This is a whole bunch of first edition fossil, like a lot. There's like 35 horsies in there. 
That's cool. With the Dragonite. I don't think there's any hot because we got a we found so far a couple well two first edition hollow dragon. Oh this binder's broken. Okay. I don't know where I got that right now. That's cool. We got the first editions. We got recycle. We can blow up the market on the first edition recycle trainer cards. So this binder is fortunately the ring is Looking there. Actually, they, this one has a D ring. Huh. I thought they, I didn't think these were. Maybe this is like a newer version of those. I thought those weren't re rings. I know those other Pokemon binders are O ring binder, which is the danger. Uh, speaking of which, we got one right here. Another one of these Pokemon. So those other binders are like the legit binders. Luckily, my I have a whole base card binder full of that. Yeah, these are Japanese rocket gem, I guess. Back to back. Uh, oh, I like that gas. That's cool. At the bottom. Uh, Dratini is awesome. Where is that? Is there a dragon air? Am I crazy? I'm just imagining that. That's what I'm not here. I swear I saw a dragon air here. Uh, this side. That's one of those. Trainer, non hollow. I don't know. I guess I tried putting like some of those together. Oh, I love those. The ghastly and the haunters there. Those are cool artworks. These are really cool artworks. I'm going to do a better. Uh, oh, this must be theme deck or something. Pikachu has no rarity on it. Or the Raichu. Does this one come from theme deck, I think? Theme deck. That Gengar artwork is amazing. Well, it's no rarity, also. Where did this come from? That's pretty cool. Does that come in a hollow? That'd be a really cool holographic. Some of these have no rarity on them. I'm not sure how that works. Also, back to back, but I'm not seeing anything cool on the back side. Just, oh, cool. I found a couple of those. I think I paid $13 for one just because I was like, Kind of a funny card to have, but it's the Misty's Tears, right? Or I guess it's like Naked Misty or something considered. But that's cool. Hopefully that's in decent condition. I think that's still like a fifteen ten dollar card. Which I'm all about that, you know. I'm not saying I'm selling these. <laughs> uh, it actually be kind of dumb to not sell this. The duplicates, I guess, but I'm not worried, worried about that. Okay, get this one out of the way. I think I said it when I opened the box earlier, but I had this in there. It's a jungle box. It's pretty cool. I swear I had two. I think these are like kind of sun bleached. That uh, I swear I had two of these, and I had a base set one. I don't think I ever bought, any, or like I guess my parents ever bought a. Like the booster box, like a sealed booster box, I think, if I remember. I feel like I asked this guy at the store for this. He gave it to me, kind of thing. But that's like really cool to have. I think yeah, just the box is like kind of expensive. <laughs> so that's like really cool. I hope I kept, because I remember when we were moving, it was actually really funny. My mom kept that because <laughs> I was trying to throw them away, I think, not knowing. Or like thinking that would be kind of like a valuable thing or really and or a really cool thing so thank you mom for not letting me throw that away these were in that booster box i guess they're all japanese cards you guys that's donruss baseball i don't know what year these are all just like japanese cards this is like from a one of the theme deck yeah that has no, i was just gonna say they don't have a rarity on the pikachu i see so i'm guessing this is like a theme deck i kind of threw in there or something that we took apart that has a rarity that doesn't have that doesn't do energies have rarities i don't know i don't think so that's in english that doesn't have rarity 
Because the no rarity comes from Steam decks, right? Oh, Jungle Pikachu. Isn't this like a $5,000 card? <laughs> Probably keep that aside. I think it is kind of like... To me, if it's more than a dollar, it's expensive kind of thing. So... I think that goes into that bracket. Or is it like the PSA graded ones or something? They were going for like crazy prices. Those are all not no rarity. Or a bunch of those are. That's just a limited Kakuna. No rarity, no rarity. Magnemite, I, I remember it like, it's so weird. Magnemite, Ghastly, Staryu. Like, like everyone, like if you ask someone your favorite base set cards, they're probably like, oh, Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur. Or I guess like, I was gonna say iconic, but like for me, it's like Staryu, Magnemite, Ghastly, because I can remember holding them in my hand. I've, I've said that a bunch of times. Like I remember being in the lunchroom at school and holding like those cards in my hand. I think the Jungle EV is like more than a dollar. <laughs> But, like, those cards always stood out to me. Just because I, like, remember them. What is that? Wayne Gretzky. Magician. Guessing that's not his rookie card. Also, there's, like, pin on the back. I, was, I, I, liked, I was in the hockey back then, too. Now, where are these squares are for? I can't remember. That one was, like, Squirtle, right? They're, like, the changing. It's actually kind of cool. They, like, chain. Like, it's, like, they're evolving kind of thing. I've been finding those everywhere. Also, those things fall apart. Uh, like, turn into dust. A Magic the Gathering card. Tell me this is, like, the rarest card ever. Disenchant? I don't know. Uh, sort of random card pile. Uh, we had, like, base set. Oh, that was English. We're just going by English and Japanese for now. I'll have fun. I'll probably live stream sorting this and this stuff. We found... This will probably work more than a dollar. We'll put the side sleeve up. Uh, oh, I don't think we really looked at that. Um, yeah. Oh, I don't have the... Are these all first edition Rocket? Because that's the correct Grimer. I don't know. You can't tell because it's not focused. His eyes are, like, straight. And on that Japanese one, it was, like, look kind of looked like it was looking up for skirt kind of thing. That's... I mean, I, I get it at the same time, but it's also weird. But they're probably just like, you know what? I mean, they're probably designed at thinking like, oh, it's looking up at the person, not <laughs> up its skirt, upper skirt. Yeah, I don't know if... I don't think there's any hollows in here, but... These appear to be all first edition Team Rocket. Well, that'd be super cool if we got the Dragonite. Tell me that's... Oh, and the Dragonair. That's such a cool artwork. And the Dratini. They're cool. These pages are like pretty okay. I might use these for like. I have a whole bunch of empty ones. I guess I was playing. Why did I make a binder like that? <laughs> it's so stupid. So now, that's cool. That's in there. I can finally complete Pokemon Stadium. Prima's official guide. It's pretty cool having that. Nintendo 64. That's awesome. I remember that. That was a really cool game. Uh, that's the game I think I have in the background of my old clip where I was going through my cards back on Twitch, but then it was called Justin TV. What is going on with this Lickitung? That's like the worst <laughs> artwork ever. That probably looked like real life back in the day. We were like, wow, Pokemon, this game, video game graphics, no way it can get any better than that. Dude, look at the Diglett. These graphics are terrible. No way. That's gotta be like... Messed up somehow. Because it's like printed. Like the Clefairy is not too bad. Pikachu just looks like it's in 420p. It's like blurry. <laughs> Magic Carp not so bad. I, I think it's just the Lickitung. That, that's just like awful looking. Ew, look at it. They keep showing it everywhere. Okay, we'll close that. That's like... That's gonna like haunt my dreams. Uh, Pokemon Sticker Series 2. I don't know what these are. Oh, I bought this at Blockbuster. $3.99. Postcard on back. 
Oh, you can cut that out. That's kind of cool. Yeah, this is like a coloring book. Oh, there are stickers. Huh. I saw something yellow. Did I color it in? For some reason, I only did the puzzle in the back. Maybe in like another 20 years, this will like finally fade out and I could sell this as unused. <laughs> That's like really random and weird. I feel like that I only did the crossword puzzle for that. Uh, Pokemon <laughs> Valentine's Day card. Teacher, I choose you. It's a Valentine's card for the teach. I feel like that's weird. I would have never done that. That's kind of funny. Happy Valentine's Day. Just like us, who's that Pokemon? Wait, what? Poliwhirl? What does that even mean? What? That's like messing with my mind. That's gonna bug me. Like, how does that work? Then, when we had to take Pokemon notes, gotta. Oh, I don't even. I never used it. That's cool, though. See, when I say Pokemon was everywhere, Pokemon was everywhere in everything. There's a couple pockets. It's a first edition Pikachu jungle. I think that's like a pretty good card to find. There's a bunch of first edition jungle and then random Japanese. A couple on the back. First edition jungle and then another. Mind pocket. Mixed Japanese cards and first edition jungle. I like that ghastly artwork. I love ghastly. That's such a cool Pokemon. I just like them on the show. I thought it was like cry on the show was real. Oh, there are multiple? Please, please. No. I thought there was like more than one card in there. First edition Jungle Pikachu probably deserves a sleeve. I don't see any dent. It's kind of a little warpage going on, but we'll just put some Harry Potter books over it. I don't see any lightning. I think that's like uh, right there in the corner, kind of lightning. You can't see because it's not focused. But whatever. That's really cool. Um, put that over here. Should be putting these back in the box, but uh, here's another bunch of pages. <laughs> For some reason, not. Oh, where are those? Those gotta be fake cards. Oh, hundred percent. Are they? Are these like? Are they just made to be? Are they like stickers? I think these are just like super fake cards. <laughs> like, look at these. These look like sports cards nowadays. They're all Japanese, but they're like, I don't know what's going on. What a weird pattern. I'm guessing, unfortunately, my aunt and uncle in Japan family. Oh, I'm keeping the gap. I'm gonna keep. I mean, I'm keeping all of these. <laughs> this is like kind of funny. They're like super fake, though. I'm guessing they accidentally bought that. They're like, they look like pictures. It's so shiny. <laughs> then the back is like. Super faded looking. That's pretty funny. I saw, like, wasn't there, like, I saw a mutant. Look at that Charman Charmander. It's, like, weird. It's, like, base rocket. They kind of look cool. <laughs> I kind of like it. Like, it's, it, that's a, to me, that's a way better holo pattern than the, like, current day <laughs> holographics, like the regular rare holographic cards. That's like, Pokemon, I should send that to Pokemon and be like, yo, do that. Do this IRL. So these are cool. I, I don't really think I realized back in the day, but it's like cool seeing, oh my gosh, I have like five, okay, there are like multiple cards. Oh, we have the Charizard. And the Venusaur and Blastoise. I think those are, I don't know if they're expensive. The Charizard I've seen, let's just go to Charizard. <laughs> That's like always, oh, are there multiple? Okay, that's the, that's the, these are tops, right? Yeah, it's like so funny because, you know, I did baseball cards. I like tops. I also did Pokemon. I hope it's in good condition. I, mean, I don't actually care, but that is a foil tops Charizard. I think that's, oh no, that is at the corner. I think that's the corner. No. Yeah, that's the corner. Oh well, there's another one behind it. 
Of course, the corner on that one's perfectly fine. Whatever. That's still really cool. Give the corners PSA 1. <laughs> I don't care, though. I don't want to put it, I guess I have to put, put, put it this way. I keep putting it in the sleeve and it's kind of pulling up the corner. Oh. Maybe I have to put it, is this one of the rare times I put it upside down? This is always cringe to me, but I think I have to do it for this. Let's see, kind of messed up the corner. I mean, my corners are already messed up, so it doesn't matter. That way, so it's not totally pulling off the corner. I, I think this is like kind of a valuable card if it's uh, in good condition, but you know what? That's my chart. That's my foil chart. Oh, what the hell? I was like, this card feels kind of thick. And there's a reason for that because there's another Charizard. That's cool. Also, when I say like these are probably valuable and stuff like that, I'm just like thinking in my head. Kind of thing. It's fun, it's fun to think. So we had three Charizards and one was a foil. The foil is probably a good thing to have, even. Uh, we have like 12 of the... We got at least two. <laughs> I'm, I was just pulling out the... I should probably, let's, we'll worry about those later. Because this is like a lot. Yeah. Oh, we even have a foil Charmin. There's also like 12 in there, I think. <laughs> I don't know why I started like bulk putting them in their... Uh, Things like that, but then, yeah, we got a whole bunch of the tops. I actually found a like a like a box, like a tops Pokemon box. I might have actually bought like a hobby box or something because we have a lot here. It's pretty cool. These cards are actually awesome. Well, they smell like tops cards. I can smell them. I always like the smell of Topps. I also saw they made Topps Chrome. I love Topps Chrome Baseball. Uh, it's so funny that, because these are just foil. This would be like Series 1, 2 update for Topps, like regular. Because they have the foil cards in Topps regular. Sure, I don't the Series 1, 2 update. So that's like just regular old Topps. Pikachu is cool. That's cool. I like it. Oh, we got a foil of the Pikachu. Billion dollar card, probably. That's cool. It's like some screenshots, I guess, from the show for the cards. Those are super cool. And a foil Charmeleon. Wow, we have the full evolution line in uh, foil. <laughs> That's pretty cool. There might also be two. No, there's just one. Well, there's two Charmeleon. I was thinking there might be two. Uh, but that's really cool. Especially, like, having the Charizards. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, that bottom left corner is totally messed up. So, I mean, all, all the corners aren't that great. Probably the one card that's, like, valuable in that, of course. Uh, has the damage to it. Uh, and that one binder I was saying, top-loaded card and the side earlier, that was the one. I think this was an Atkins, it was an Arbok. Close enough. But apparently paid fifteen dollars back in the day for holographic Team Rocket or Bach. It's cool. It's always funny seeing the prices. Well, that's a good bad good or bad thing. Uh, we have a Wake Up Snorlax videotape. If you don't know what a videotape is, that's a videotape. You put it in a ooh, you put it in a VCR and it plays a movie. Kind of like a DVD. Do people even know what DVDs are anymore? It's a uh, Blu-ray. I think people know what Blu-rays are, at least. Uh, this is just a, a bag of cards. I see a magic card on the back. This, I think this has. I think there's something in the top. Where are those gold cards? I don't know what this is. There's Japanese star you on the front. I have not looked through this. Is this just like everything? What is going on here? It's a. What the hell is this? Persian. It's like a puzzle piece or something. I don't know what that is. Uh, we got Star You, Thicket, Basilisk, Drowsy, Shadowless. Should I just be pulling out the Shadowless cards? 
So I'm going to show you if it's how I remember. I'm going to show you something on why I'm not freaking out on fun. Oh, Dragon Ball Z. That's cool. From the Shadowless cards. Uh, I have a bunch of them <laughs> somewhere. Or I think a lot. I don't know, a bunch. Uh, Rhyhorn. There's like Dragon Ball Z. Oh, whoa. Well, that's cool. Vegeta! This kind of feels like it's supposed to be a sticker, because it's like... Are these fake? Why are they like faded on the back kind of thing? I don't know. These look like the other ones. I don't know. That's pretty cool, though. We'll sleeve that up. Put that in a sleeve pile. Uh, that's cool. I guess we gotta start a Dragon Ball Z pile. Japanese, 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 Japanese. Cool. No way. <laughs> just, oh yeah, there's a Misty's Tears just thrown in there. That's a, I was gonna say pretty good shape. It has like a little something something on that corner. That's great condition to me. It's like, why do these feel so weird? Unless it's just because it's old. These are really cool. What is it? Is that ripped Shinron? I don't remember that. What happened? That is like tap out Shinron? What episode was that? This comes out. We got two. Is that Bulma? None of these have like explanations on the back. Are these fake cards? I don't think so. Or I mean, I don't. Not the best corners, fortunately, but. Licensed by Funimation. I mean, that, I don't know. These just feel weird. Because it's like. They feel cardboard on both sides. Even though this shouldn't. Even because it's like a foil. I don't know. It's weird. Those are cool, though. I have a bunch of them. What the hell? Another tap out Shinron? I think that's Shinron, right? Whoa, what's going on with Radit? That's a cool card. I mean, even if these are fit, I mean, I don't know. I don't know anything about them to even. They just don't feel right. <laughs> I guess like the card stock of it. That's a really cool Rhyhorn artwork. Another Misty's Tears? What the heck? I'm glad finding them. I'm good. I, it, it's only upsetting to me because I think I paid $13 for one. Okay, there's a holographic card. I think that's a Scyther. It's in a bag. Scyther in a bag. I think there's another one of those gold foil. No. These are cool though. I like these Dragon Ball Z cards. Uh, this is something. Oh no. Okay. That's close. Sticker. <laughs> of course, it's on top of the. Uh, huh. Is that fake? I feel like something is off on this card. I kind of want to keep these separate. These feel weird. There's three hollows. I don't know. To me, they feel off. They feel super slick. I don't know. Something doesn't feel right to me. They're keeping those there. Because it was what the... Uh, some Magic the Gathering stuff. Let's keep all of this. I don't think, I think these are fine. They feel okay. I don't know. Unless they're just in really good condition. I think it's okay. I'm just gonna. I think that was about the stack I put on the other stack. Something just feels off to me. 
about them. I'm gonna have to look at them cl more, a lot closer and stuff, but put that, I don't, it's, like even the Misty cards, unless it's just like they're in very good condition, like surface wise, they just feel really slick. Like you can see they're kind of shiny, but they're not like the backs on that other one, those like obviously fake ones, because these don't look faded out or anything like that. I don't know. This is weird. I think they just might be just because it's like they're in between cards, so it kind of preserved them in a way. I don't know. That's weird. We put them because we know the hollows are there. I don't know. That's kind of odd feeling.